Alright everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report and I am your host Robert Jordan. Everyone please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, I'm sure everybody's seen this story by now about the guy in New York City has been released over a hundred times on their new bail reform laws. I'm just going to go over the story because we have to see what happens in real time. What the Democrats effect on our society will be in real time. Because listen, Black people vote Democrats over 90% of the time. This dude here is going to come back to the black community. So we're voting for our own death. Okay? We're voting for our own pain and suffering now. And we have to know that. So this is from the New York Daily News. And I, there's a short clip of him being arrested again on his latest one. So I'm going to go through this real fast and then we're going to try and wrap this up. Bell reform, it's lit. NYC, D, M, NYC transit recidivist brags he can't be stopped after his latest arrest for turnstile jumping, skipping court dates. He's up to 139 arrests and he says he can't be stopped. Serial subway crook Charles Berry walked out of Manhattan criminal court early Saturday after his arraignment in his most recent arrest on Thursday afternoon. He knew that except for having to spend 36 hours in police custody, there was no immediate consequences to his alleged crimes, which include charges he snatched cash from people trying to use the Metro card machines. I'm famous. I take $200, $300 of your money. Cracker, you can't stop me. Barry yelled to a new Daily News reporter late Thursday night as police led him out of NYPD Transit District 1 headquarters in the Columbus Circle Station. I'm going to show you that clip. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. Bail reform is lit, Barry said. Listen to what he says. It's the Democrats. The Democrats know me, and the Republicans fear me. You can't touch me. I can't be stopped. He knows it's the Democrats that's doing this. Everybody knows it's the Democrats that are doing this. And they're making their cities dangerous as you know what. Barry was taken from the Columbus Circle to Manhattan Central Booking, where he cooled his heels for about 24 hours in a courthouse holding area. When he was finally released after his hearing Saturday, Barry was still enthusiastic about the Albany decision last year to eliminate bail for nonviolent crimes. It's a great thing. It's a beautiful thing, he said. They punk people out for BS crimes. Barry, he's 56 years old and still out of control. You believe this? He's a 56-year-old man who has served six stints in state prison, has been arrested six times since New York's bail reform in January the 1st. After each arrest, he was freed without bail because the charges against him did not involve violence. Twice he was charged with stealing money. Unsuspecting strap hangers were trying to insert into Metro card vending machines. Barry found himself in trouble again this Thursday, just hour after he faced a, appeared, his face appeared on Daily News front page that headlined the Metro Card Machines heist. Officers who'd gotten to know Barry over the years were looking for him the day because two warrants had been issued for his arrest after he missed court dates. One court hearing Barry Skip is related to the January 19th incident in which he was given a desk appearance ticket for allegedly stealing $50 out of a woman's hand inside the subway station on West 42nd Street and 6th Ave near Bryant Park. The other hearing he missed was related to a theft in December. He just goes around snatching money out of people's hands. Officers spotted him jumping a turnstile in, in Penn Station and began to follow him, police said. They lost track of him before they found him and arrested him on subway station at 50th Street. Listen to this guy. I hope this works. All right, 
That's what that's what the bail reform laws are, guys. That's what the Democrats are doing. And they're doing this hundreds of times a day. People who've killed, people who've raped, they're all coming back to the black community. Where else are they going? 